I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about concealed carry, carrying weapons, buying firearms, and all this kind of stuff. I think because I think it's it is there's no way we can get around training in self-defense, goshin jutsu, whatever whatever words we use, right? Martial arts, reality-based self-defense, etc. Without talking about how about carrying a weapon? If you're number one, don't carry something you're not going to practice with. If you're not going to practice with it, then carrying it might cause you more harm than actually having it. Okay, so there's there's the first thing I would say. I am a huge fan. We, the state that we live in, right? The state that we live in, we are allowed to carry concealed carry without without a uh, license. You don't have to get a concealed carry license to, to carry, whether it's a firearm or a knife. Now there are rules and laws with that though, because having a concealed carry license does give you more versatility than not having one. But in the state of Kansas. You can still carry a knife or a gun, even concealed, if you would like. Make sure that you guys keep up with the laws, okay? I'm not gonna get into the laws. If you're gonna carry one, know the damn law, right? When it comes down to a knife, I've made multiple videos about what knives I think you guys should use. I don't, I, we study samurai and ninja arts. You're, you're dedicating your lives hours every week to the way of the samurai, the way of the ninja. They carried, not, they carried blades, right? I think it would be really bad for anybody, regardless of what ninjutsu organization you're with, whether you guys are, whether you guys watching the videos or with some other ninpo organization, you should be carrying some sort of a knife. You should be carrying a blade. Again, it, make sure it works with your state, your state regulations, our state's perfectly fine to do so. But make sure you do that. But I, I, there's, there's so many things you can do with an edged weapon. And it would, we can, we'll work with that more, whether it's using it as a force impact tool, using it for a cutting implement, or whatever that we're going to be doing, right? And there's a variety of different ones. Now getting to the guns, firearms, same thing. When it, I think, just because the gun is bigger does not mean that it's better. Firearms is no different. You know what I mean? Now, if you guys are going to be somebody who um, is going to practice with firearms, if you guys are going to go to the range, you're going to do the time, you're going to get the, you know, then whatever you guys want to use, use. Whatever you feel comfortable with. But if you're buying a firearm that you're never going to shoot, that you're only using it for self-defense, buying bigger weapons makes zero sense because there's a skill level on being able to use the weapon. I don't care who, what anybody has as far as like their, what they got in their box, but there's no way anybody on the face of the planet cannot tell you, that cannot be honest. It's easier to shoot a BB gun than it is to shoot a 22. It's easier to shoot a 22 than it is to shoot a 380. It's easier to shoot a 380 than say like 45. You catch what I'm saying? Why? because they are heavier, they are bigger. When you shoot them, there's more recoil pack. Now, if the only thing you practice with is a 45, well then that's fine, carry whatever the hell you want. I'm not gonna sit there and tell you what not to carry, whatever you feel the most comfortable with, but if you're not practicing with it, it doesn't do you any damn good, because you're not gonna be good at it. Just people get this idea that, you know, I have this really fancy, cool gun, so this is what's gonna do the deal. It's not true. More people get stabbed every year than they get shot. That's a fact. And another fun fact for you guys, more people die from a shank than they do an actual knife getting cut and stabbed. Meaning like, it's not these fancy knives that you buy, you know, at like Cabela's or Bass Pro or get them online in some self-defense, you know, you know, military combatives knife thing. Most people just have, the people that are gonna kill you, the criminals, they just, they sharpen up a goddamn kitchen knife, wrap up the handle, and then just leave it in it. They're, they're not, that's the, that's the reality. More people die of that than $250 knives slicing you open. Is it wrong to have a $250 knife? No. But is a $250 knife gonna give you a different outcome than the one that's just sharp? No. Because in self-defense, you're using the weapon for self-defense, to defend yourself. You're not using the weapon to kill someone. Those are two different things. You're not carrying a weapon to kill someone. 
you're carrying a weapon to defend yourself and to protect somebody. So everyone gets this idea of the wrong damn thing. A 22 kills more people every year than any other round. Than any other bullet. You know what I mean? But everyone will sit there and give you shit about 22. It's 22 long round. But the reason it kills more people is because it's so damn cheap. And because it works. But more people want to use a bigger gun because they want to make themselves feel bigger about themselves. Or because they would rather. Which is fine. Again, I don't give a shit what you guys care. One thing about self-defense that holds true, and this is what I want to leave you guys with a little bit of a thought, is the ego of self-defense, the ego of martial arts. A lot of times people have these big-ass egos, and they think things like, you know, bigger is better. I've got this big gun, I've got this 45, or I've got these big muscles, or I've got these, this big truck, or I've got this, this is like the bigger the better. The people think like that. You know, and there's nothing, by the way, for you guys on the video, there's nothing wrong with having big muscles, a big truck, or a big gun. That's not what I'm, my point is. My point is some people buy those things not because they want it or because they enjoy it, but because they use it as a shield to hide their own insecurities. I, we know, all of us know, maybe not, you know, we got a rookie in here, but the, you guys are all the black belts know. We've seen people come in here all the time. Big ass, muscles, you know, da da da. They don't ever stay. They don't ever stay. For some reason, people spend more time making themselves look like a badass than being a badass. Yeah? And that's not what we're trying to get here. I mean, god damn, I'm the headmistress of this organization. I mean, shit. I, like, literally, I had a sex change. I am a transgendered woman. I'm clearly not trying to make myself look like the biggest badass on the fucking planet <laughs> because there's no way that that correlates the two. <laughs> but you catch what I'm saying? From a stereotypical perspective, you don't, when you think transgendered woman, you don't think badass, right? That this is not the thing. You know, if I was trying to make, trying to get a stereotypical image, then that's not the route I would be living my life. But I'm not trying to get the image of that. I'm just trying to train the martial arts have the skill of that. Whatever you carry, gun, knife, otherwise, if you don't practice, then you don't practice with it. If you don't have the skill set, then you don't have the skill set. Many times you see people do this bullshit. Well, I'm going to take a self-defense class once every three months down at the Y. And that's perfectly well and good. But let me tell you something. When you guys take, when those people that don't go to the dojo day in and day out, they don't work on their skills, they're not working on striking and grappling and throwing and timing and distancing and weapons and all the stuff that we do all the time. They just do something once a month, once every other month. That's like taking a first aid class. You know, there's people that's like, well, I'm going to do first aid. I want to know the basic first aid stuff. That's all that is. They're not doctors. They're not the ones you're calling because shit at the fan. They just know a couple things in a first aid situation. That's what those self-defense deals are like. There's no way you're going to take that and then have it. It's training. The Miyamoto Masashi said it best. The way is in training. You have to train. You have to be good. And if you do not have the skills, then you don't have the skills. It does not matter how big your muscles are, right? Regardless how big you are, you're still roughly 80% water, 80% blood. If I take a knife and someone comes after me and they're the size that's 100 pounds, five foot one, and I stab them in the stomach, they're going to bleed. If they are 400 pounds, six foot five, I stab them in the stomach, they're going to bleed. They're still 80% water. They all still, that's all the same. Just because they're bigger doesn't mean anything less, right? But if you don't have the skill set, you don't. So don't get wrapped up into the shit that people think or they try to ploy you into buying shit that you don't need to buy. You know what I mean? Because if you're, if you're only buying something for self-defense, then you need something that's going to be very user-friendly, right? Something that you can get to and that you can use in a high-stress environment. You know, aggression is high, heart rate is high, anxiety is high, fear is high, stress is high. You know, the, you all the adrenaline's going. And then out of nowhere, you're just going to pull out this big-ass gun that you never practiced because bullets are fucking so expensive. And then be like, boom, like you're fucking... Like, but people believe it. 
People, there are people out there that believe just because they have big ass muscles that no one wants to fuck with. But look at the majority of people that get their ass whooped. <laughs> Some of these straight thugs, they just like to have the crown. Did you see that guy I kicked the shit out of? I mean, come on. It was a target. You know what I mean? If I told any of you guys, we're going to take two targets. I'm going to take a, take a can of soda, walk across the street, put it by the tree. And I'm going to come out here and I'm going to say, okay, you have one round in the gun. And you can either hit the can of soda or you can hit the big ass tree that's right behind it. Which one would you guys shoot if you only had one round? The fucking tree. Because the tree's a bigger target. Well, there are these big ass guys walking around. It seems that they're a bigger target. But people don't think of it like that. The world is climbing with more and more crime every day. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at the damn news and not think that we're not seeing a massive amount of hate, bigotry, prejudice, white supremacy, all that kind of crap. All this, it just, it's rampant. The hate and violence is more now than has ever been in our country. And that's for one specific, what's really for one really big reason, which we won't get on the camera, but it is without doubt way more violent now than it's ever been. And if you guys think that you can kind of be like, well, for me to get around all this violence, I'm just going to do this, then you're kidding yourselves. Now, I know you guys don't think that. You guys train with me. You guys are still here because kind of like the philosophy and principles that I teach. But maybe someone watching the camera, maybe that helps you change your mind too. Don't do stupid shit. We talked about earlier what's possible, what's probable. It is possible that I win the lottery if I buy a lottery ticket. It is not probable that I will win the lottery if I buy a lottery ticket. So when you're doing all the self-defense and the survival and again, don't do the shit that's possible. Well, if I buy a big gun, it's possible that when I shoot them, they're just going to go down. Okay. Well, if you have a skill set, anyone with a skill with a firearm, they would understand one thing. It's anyone tells you knockdown power is just because they won't use the word knockdown power. They're going to use the word shot placement. I would rather be shot in the shoulder with a 44 than in the head with a 22. You know what I mean? It's just the reality. Now, if you guys are going to the range all the time, you guys are shooting, that's different. You're going to get the fancy knives and pull them out. No, they're, they're equally this, this, this. Okay, that's different. But if you're looking for a skill set, have the skill set. Because none of the tools are going to work if you don't have a skill set. It's not about the tool. It's about the talent. You can buy all the best fucking tools in the world, but if you don't know how to build the fucking house, you don't have the talent. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Whatever you buy, that is not what's going to save your life. Your skills of using that tool is what is going to save your life. So if you dump a shit ton of money in one thing that you do not use, can't use, and never used, then you just don't have the skills. You just have a really expensive toy. 